Good morning. I'm Roland Green. This is Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes. And, uh, holy crap, did we stumble ass backwards into one now. So the other day, I wanted to play some Man of War because uh, I wanted to tie Man of War in with my feelings of uh, um, longing for a better world to live in and a willingness to fight for it. Not saying by any direct action today, tomorrow, or next week. I'm not, don't have any plans. Do I have a wellspring of strength and resolve to draw from? Ah, thought about it for a while and I'm like, man, kingdom come, man of war. That makes me think like that. I'll play that one. And then I saw this band, Sabaton, uh, had covered it. So I did that and lo and behold, massive fan base, uh, emotional Swedish historic heroic metal I mean I don't even know what it is and then it led to something else which well, we're gonna get to in a minute but I already yapped enough I'm trying to keep my opening monologue to less than two minutes so we can enjoy some of uh, Man of War March for Revenge by the Soldiers of Death. We're going to listen to this one because this is literally... I got a... Got a weird blood brother to this song. Like this was... This was important. address the uh, Viking nature of the raping and pillaging. Hey, whatevs. I, I don't even care. I haven't lost a second of fucking sleep my whole life over it. Why? Because I look at the album cover and the Dungeon and Dragon player in me doesn't take any offense. Uh, I'm not mocking them with that. It's what let me not go. You know, just another, you know, half-dressed dude with his hairy thighs hanging out in the 80s. It was like, there was a lot of homoerotic album covers. Just saying. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I fucking love this song. But I'm just saying it's, 
you know, for for maybe a young person, this would be problematic. Oh, yeah, the horrible. Eh, you know, the, the warrior god was cruel. What can you do? And to be fair, because I like a reoccurring theme through all of my shit, I might have had too much to say about toxic masculinity during the Harry Mack review, and I'm probably skipping some insightful toxic masculinity statements during this song. One, though, Harry Mack, I put in the realm of reality. Man of War, I put in the realm of Norris mythology. Huh. It's almost like it's almost like when I watch a cartoon, I don't have to pretend the cartoon represents the real world. Because it's a fucking cartoon! <sighs> it's like, this is awesome, but it's a caricature of something. It's not, get your horses and ride. I mean, you know what I mean? For some people it is, and I'm sorry. I hope you're having fun on your pony. This, to me, is a kick-ass companion song for the original Conan movie. <coughs> Schwarzenegger, James Earl Jones. You can't tell me that that Temple of Delights wasn't creepy the first time you've seen it. Uh, I don't know how it stands the test of time. It's like you could have given Schwarzenegger even less lines. Uh, but <sighs> the Riddle of Steel. Come, my child. Come, the flesh. There are some things in that movie that are well worth thinking about or discussing. I shit you not. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Um, I tell you not to smoke weed, but that's a personal decision. Do what you got to do. It's wake and bake time because the the Nightwish people are um massive amounts of fans, and I gotta gear up for that one. I really hope I like it. Because if I don't like it, I'm going to tell the truth. Fuck that. I ain't got to lie. I don't got to lie for clicks. I don't got to lie. Hey, let me know in the comments how many times I've actually asked you to do anything like, <clears throat> you know, that shit right down here. Yeah, I think that's where it is on your screen. Have I ever, outside of what I'm doing right now, vaguely responding to that area going, ew, let's, let's look at that like a leper colony, Okay. So you got to get it. I hope I like the Heavy Nightwish song because that would be great for the channel. It would be great for my ability to reach other people. And all I want to do is tell the truth from sea to shining sea and then jump over the ocean and tell some truth. Find out more truth from them. Balance misconceptions and grow as a human being. Holy shit! That is a lot of fucking responsibility for music. Damn. <laughs> I think you can do it.
If a time ever comes in my life where I have to do the right thing for the wrong reasons, I can only hope the inside of my heart sounds like this moment. And that's it. Once again, think more or less of me, but this steals my warrior spirit and drags it out of its wellspring. It stands next to me like a ghost of battles fought. For fucking real. It doesn't make me insane. I don't go put on my Viking helmet and march down the street wielding a sword. I have a soundtrack for my life that strengthens my resolve. I want companions in life that I would feel this way about. Rise with me. For when we march, your soul. You can't see the sun coming over the hill. You can't see the line of unstoppable men who will crush you because you stole something from them. You're not looking hard enough.
holy soul since I was 16 in my own little part of nowhere I heard the trumpets call I saw the men gather at the ramparts and I said I will be willing to join you my friends metaphorically all of course then I sat down I rolled my 20 cider and I swung my plus two battle axe get a fucking grip doesn't mean we didn't fucking get moved didn't mean that we weren't playing our games and thinking about something greater than ourselves and maybe maybe the fact that we were still using our imaginations and being transported away to battlefields <clears throat> by our epic Norris metal eh, a good thing never had to worry about swiping left or right or getting my IP address right really I didn't didn't grow up in that future grew up with three acres of woods to run around in like a maniac though so this just went to, to my heart holy crap that was uh that was a ride for me I um that is in my all-time 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 favorites right there the inspiration it gives me is um well it doesn't leave me speechless because <laughs> nothing does <laughs> but whew, it's a good warm-up because we gotta go get some sabbat next and then then the night wish and holy crap who knows what that means well it means we're gonna be honest to them songs too and see what the fuck happens maybe we'll react maybe we'll rant maybe we'll get sucked down the rabbit hole who knows i don't know i thought i'd just wake up to a regular day today and my numbers don't say that so I ain't dicking around. We gone for real. It's like they, they let me get into the minor league last night. I don't think I'm nothing. I know I'm nothing. And all opinions are for entertainment purpose only. But I feel like I got invited into the minor leagues. The amateur status. Let's see what we can do. Let's run up some rookie numbers. Later.